Hey everybody, Sean James here. Welcome back to the cabin. I don't know if you can see it outside, um, but it is still white. <laughs> lots and lots of white out there. It's April 15th, 2019, and uh, spring is just not really arriving. Winter's hanging on. Uh, we got six inches of snow last night again. Uh, we were getting some melting. The snowpack was starting to, to go down a bit and the uh, uh, snow had melted off the lake so it looked like we were going to start to get some thawing of the ice and then we got the six inches of snow on top of it last night. Now most of that has probably melted off although there's still snow on top of the the uh, forest kitchen roof so it didn't even melt everything that fell last night. So it's been a tough one. It's been a really long long winter. Um, nice thing is that once the uh, snow stopped around noon today and it uh, cleared up, we got that sun came out and it's it's so warm this time of year, and then it's reflecting off the snow. But if you notice, my face is beet red. I didn't realize today. Um, I guess because it gradually cleared up, I didn't really notice um, the sun on my face. But I'm obviously quite tanned or burned. Um, I just put on that cream that I made right now so it's a little bit <laughs> shiny but uh, anyway I'm hoping that helps it calm down so it doesn't uh, doesn't hurt doesn't uh, continue to burn um, now I do make my own sunscreen so that actually has a lot of uh, sunscreen ingredients in it so I'll wear that tomorrow but I'll have to remember to wear my hat as well but two more days of sunshine before uh, before some more rain comes in I hope you watch that uh, two-year synopsis video on the uh, My Self Reliance channel where I showed everything that I've done since we bought this land two years ago right up until the last day of winter of this year. So check that out. There'll be a link uh, either up here in the corner or in the description below if you want to watch that. Um, but I'm excited about the next year and then the next two years. Um, so many things going on this week. So today I worked on the sauna. Again, winter's holding on, so I've been struggling to, to get that thing done. There's things that I can't finish, like materials are still buried under the snow. And uh, the interior, I planned on doing the floor today, but I still can't get that ice and snow to melt inside the, the um, sauna on the floor so that I can install the cedar floor. So I chipped most of that out today, got a fire going. Uh, the warm temperatures help melt that down a bit. So tomorrow I will be able to get back in there and start installing this, the uh, the floor. I did cut out the windows so that I can install those tomorrow as well. And then just have to spend a, probably a few more days and then I can finish that sawn up completely. Which is good because I've got some really cool projects coming up. I talked about it I think on the other channel. Um, a gathering area that I'm doing at the other end of the property here. And it's um, sort of a... can't. I don't want to tell you too much about it right now, but I do have five guys coming up to give me a hand on it, which is something I'm really looking forward to. So they're going to spend four or five days here helping me out with that. We're going to work together on it, and then those guys are welcome to come back and uh, spend time at that spot in... <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Anyway, you're, you're going to... I'm going to... I'm really looking forward to it. It's something I was, I've always wanted to do, and uh, uh, the guys are pretty excited about it as well. So we're going to start that. Today's Monday, the 15th, April 15th, so Friday, so a week and a half from now. Uh, the guys are coming up, so we're going to be doing that. So you stay tuned, or tune into the other. I'll show some of it here, some of the updates, but if you want to tune into my self-reliance in, say, three weeks, then I'll start uploading videos of that uh, that project. Um, still working on maple syrup today too. It's been really slow because of this cold weather and the up and down temperatures. Some of the sap buckets still haven't even filled once and there are only one gallon bucket so it shows you that you know in a, in a good day when, they're, when the sap's really flowing you should fill a bucket in a day. So it's been really slow. I've got about 40 gallons on the on the grill out there right now in the forest kitchen boiling down. I'll 
and I'll get up a couple times over the night, stoke that fire to keep it going, and then finish boiling it tomorrow. Sap is running good now. Next two to three days are going to be warm enough that it'll continue to flow, but it's probably going to get to the point where it starts to go, not sure what the term is, but it gets kind of cloudy and the taste is a little bit off. So once it gets up to, I'm not sure, probably 10 degrees plus, and then when it doesn't get below freezing at night. So like I said, this is the last week for sap for maple syrup. Wasn't a great season for me up here. South of here, I think they probably had a pretty good season because it started weeks ago and it's continued up until now, but it's just, winter's really holding on in this particular part of Ontario for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to finish that up and I'll show you me uh, bottling that. I'll bottle that tomorrow or the following day and uh, probably pull the taps, I would say two or three days from now, I'll pull them out of the trees. Um, bringing firewood up, I'm collecting uh, some of the firewood piles that are starting to ex get exposed now that the, melt the snow has melted down a bit. So I've been bringing, bringing uh, firewood up to the shed here in, in beside the cabin. The snowmobile that I bought at the beginning of the winter, this will be the last day. I keep bogging it down actually as I try to get firewood as soon as I put a heavy load on the, tur the sled behind it. it uh, just sinks right into the to the uh, snow because the snow is getting so dense and uh, weak. So that's uh, that's not good. I'll have to pack it up and tarp it over for the for the summer. I don't know if you can hear the frying pan bubbling away there behind you. It's uh, some venison burgers that I'm cooking in the frying pan. Wanted to grill them tonight, but that maple syrup is taking up the whole grill, so it's not worth trying to push it aside to put the grill on. So I'm just frying these venison burgers up in the pan. I'll throw some cheese and some onion and stuff on there and then um, go to bed. I'm tired. It's already 7 30. It's so light out now that I kept work until after 6 but I'm exhausted. So that's it. I'm going to so I'm gonna eat dinner and, and uh, clean up. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot going on this year that I sh should continually be working even later in the evening. I need to get some shelves up to get some new books that I got for my birthday this week. Get those up on the walls and cleaned up. I'm starting to uh, bring more and more things here to settle in so that we can live here full time. So it's, it's starting to get cluttered so I need to put more shelves up and do some finish that storage upstairs, finish the sauna and then move on to some of the other projects that I've been talking about like the garden for example. I need to plant a garden in May. I need cellar to store all the food. So, so much going on this year. Anyway, that's why I'm uploading frequent videos on this channel as well as the other ones. So I'm going to wrap this one up right now, but if you want to check in again the next, uh, probably in the next couple days, I'll upload another video of what I do tomorrow and the following day. Get out here, work on the sauna, finish up the maple syrup, and uh, maybe cut a couple trees down where the garden's going to go. Continual work. You'll, I'll be uh, working and filming every day. For at least the next month so lots lots to see here anyway i'm rambling on so i'm gonna shut this down and uh, finish up dinner and go to bed so have a good night and i'll see you up here at the cabin next time take care mm -hmm.